Hello, good to be back with you on this Thursday. I hope today was a good day for you thinking more about compassion. And we've learned a lot about compassion this week, haven't we? Compassion. I see your hurt. I feel your hurt with you. you know, I see your sadness. I feel your sadness with you. you know, all kinds of emotions that we can feel with others. And that's, that's compassion. Compassion helps us to see one another, to welcome one another. Compassion helps us to be brave. We also remember that as important as it is to have compassion for one another, it's also important to have compassion for ourselves too, right? So today our story was about Ruth and Orpah and Naomi. Now you remember from this morning, Naomi lost her husband and her sons. Ruth and Orpah lost their husbands. You know, they all faced a difficult decision. Do they stay where they are? Do they go back to their hometown? Everyone had to choose what was best for them, right? And in this decision-making, they showed compassion to one another. You know, each received compassion, each gave compassion. You know, Naomi showed compassion to Ruth and Orpah, giving them the options to return to their families, to not stay with her. You know, Ruth showed compassion by choosing to stay with Naomi when Naomi had had so much loss in her life. Orpah also showed compassion. She returned to her family of origin in order to help them. So we remember that compassion goes both ways, right? You know, we receive and we give. And I think for each of these three women, they each could make their very difficult decision because of the compassion they received which then enabled them to give compassion to. Now, it's interesting in these times when we don't really see each other, you know, we're reminded that compassion can be face-to-face -face or compassion can come from far away, too. You know, compassion doesn't need to be in the same room as someone. So our Bible story makes me wonder, you know, wonder what it means to really be there for someone, you know, whether you are face-to-face -face with them or whether you are separated. What does it mean to be there for someone? And I wonder how the women in this story were there for one another. I wonder if you have ever been there for someone in your life, showing them compassion, feeling with them when they really needed it. So let's sing the story, sing the song, not the story, sing the song that we sang this morning. Face to face or far away, God is present among us. Listen to the Spirit say, I am here with you. All right? Face to face or far away, God is present among us. Listen to the Spirit say, I am here with you again. Face to face or far away, God is present among us. Listen to the Spirit say, I am here with you. Now instead of Spirit, let's say neighbor. Face to face or far away, God is present among us. Say, I am here with you, community, face to face or far away. God is present among us. Listen to your community say, I am here with you. Nice. I hope you were singing along with me. I can't tell on video, but I hope you were. So, Ruth. Orpa, Naomi. Now they've shown us what we have learned so far about compassion, you know, seeing one another, being brave, trusting, listening to your heart. You know, they really show us what compassion looks like when we're present with another person. So what does it really mean to be present with another person? When I'm present with someone, I, I wait with them. I listen carefully to them. I ask how I can best be with them and feel with them. And when we show up for someone like this, that's, 
that's compassion. And when people show us up for us like that, that's compassion too. You know, these women showed compassion in a hard situation and we can really learn from them. So let's close with our prayer. As always, we're gonna put our hand over our heart, doing this because compassion happens in our brains and we feel it in our hearts. So I invite you to repeat after me. Loving spirit, you are active and alive. Loving spirit, you are active and alive. Always moving and stirring within and around us. Always moving and stirring within and around us. Please be an encouraging wind at our backs. Please be an encouraging wind at our backs, giving us open minds and soft hearts to follow where you lead. Giving us open minds and soft hearts to follow where you lead. Make us flexible and present in each moment. Make us flexible and present in each moment that we might embrace compassion by letting go of what we expect that we might embrace compassion by letting go of what we expected. Amen. A reminder, as always, when we get to the end of the day, uh, that prayer is a coloring page in your packet. You're welcome to color that or decorate it however you might like. And then don't forget your daily examine. You know, think through those questions with your family at dinner or at bedtime. Have a great night. And we'll see you tomorrow on Zoom at 10 o'clock in the morning. Bye-bye.